Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Fultz. I'm the Chief of Pediatrics here at Wynn Army Community Hospital. Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Yan. I work as a general pediatrician in the Pediatrics Clinic here at Wynn Army Community Hospital. I'm Dr. Katie Beauregard and I'm a staff pediatrician here at Wynn Army. I see patients on a daily basis, both in the clinic and in our inpatient service. So we see both our healthy kids who come in for routine well visits, plus our kids who are sick and having a little bit of a bad day to help them out. I want to talk to you today about the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. This vaccine has recently been approved through an emergency use authorization for adolescents aged 12 through 17. Emergency use authorization for the COVID-19 vaccine means that the benefit of the vaccine outweighs any associated risks with it. The COVID-19 vaccine uses the same principles as all the other vaccines that your children have received at their routine well child visits. The details are mildly different, but the end effect is exactly the same. It tricks your body into thinking it's sick, so it launches an immune response to keep you safe when you face the real thing. We know that COVID infection in children can be very serious, however rare those serious outcomes may be. We do know that most kids do fairly well, but kids who have comorbidities like obesity, which is rising in the United States, diabetes, underlying lung problems, prematurity, tend to struggle a little bit more when they get COVID disease. There have been cases of children who have gotten um, much more serious infections um, related to COVID that require hospitalizations. I've seen this impact families across the country. I've seen this impact families locally. I've seen this impact colleagues. My child goes to daycare and I was notified that there was a COVID outbreak in his classroom. I ended up getting him tested here at Wynn and he did end up testing positive. Thankfully, he has showing minimal symptoms um, at the time and then we were quarantined. I think it's very understated just how much of an impact they've, they've had with you know, not being able to go to school, socializing with their friends, going on to uh, movies. Uh, these are things that I, you know, now that we have the Pfizer vaccine available, it will become much safer to be able to kind of get back to the road to normalcy and, and get back to regular lives. And we're hopeful that this will give us a way that we can ensure our kids can go back to school safely and return to sports and after school activities and all the things that they enjoy doing that they've really been missing out on for the last 12 to 18 months. This vaccine is key to our road back to normalcy, to be able to take our masks off, to go to the park, to go to the beach, to go to movie theaters, to do all those things we love to do with our children. In order to get your child vaccinated against COVID-19, book an appointment for vaccination through the normal processes you would use to make a doctor's appointment. Remember, because your child is a minor, they must have a parent or legal guardian with them to sign the consent forms prior to receiving the vaccine. The COVID vaccine is something that is based in science, and I believe that this vaccine is, is very safe. I feel so strongly about this vaccine that as soon as my children are able to, they'll get it. We feel very comfortable that this vaccine is very safe and that we are ready to use it in our kids to protect them.